Hello, I just got a food delivery and I want to share it with you. I always get so excited when I get these. This is from Imperfect Foods. Um, potatoes, because right now I'm eating potatoes. Everything's organic, by the way. These are yellow potatoes. They're my favorite. I got carrot, carrot, orange. This is just part of what I got. There's more in the box. It's in one box. Um, this is Cara Cara oranges. They're really good. I discovered them this year. They're pink on the inside and they're sweet and delicious. Um, broccoli. A whole bunch of jalapenos because I am just hooked on these right now. A whole bunch of avocados. Um, regular Haas kind. And these apples. These also I discovered this year and they're, they're a little bit sweeter. They're really, really good. I like them. Some baby bellas, some cauliflower, and I actually still have two more in my fridge from before. Um, purple onions, a whole bunch of cilantro. This goes in everything. Some shallots. This particular kind of tofu is called hodo. It is so good. It makes other tofu I mean, it's just the best tofu I've ever had. Um, this is watermelon radish. I got these to make my salads prettier. And some ginger. I've been putting ginger in my smoothies and they, it spices it up. It's, it tastes really good and it's great for inflammation. So today I am going to make a kale Caesar salad. Um, I have been craving this and I haven't, been making it because it requires uh, things that weren't on the protocol like almond butter and or tahini. Um, we're going to make one today. I'm going to show you. It's super simple. Um, it's so, so delicious and a little bit addictive because it's so good. When when I started making these a couple years ago, I just made them constantly. Um, and you don't have to have specific ingredients. The dressing is really, really forgiving and it still turns out great. So let's make some kale Caesar. So I washed my greens, unless they come in those, those boxes, I wash them. So big bowl, wash, and then I'm gonna use this um, spinner, which is awesome. So kale's cruciferous, and that's what we're trying to do. I'm still on the protocol. As far as hyper nourishing, I'm not doing all raw. Um, I don't know when you're gonna watch this. So I was doing all raw, um, Dr. Goldner's protocol, and now I'm still doing it. I'm just, I've introduced cooked food and I've introduced nuts and seeds because I'm just doing the hyper nourishment part. Okay, you can, if you aren't using organic, you can put, um, some baking soda in the water, but I hope you're using organic. But if you can't get it, you can't get it. Better to have, have it than not have any. I'm just gonna take this same bowl. You can, if you have time, you can massage the dressing into the leaves. I usually eat it before, like I make it fast and want to eat it right away, so I end up not doing that. The kale looks good today. I wish I had ordered more. I really do wish I would ordered more. Every time I have this, I just want to eat it all the time. So I've got the kale here. And almond butter, tahini. Sometimes I do fresh garlic. Right now we're doing granules. This is lemon juice. This is um, nutritional yeast mix. So we're just gonna do, usually do a cap full. Let's do a taste test. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So, so good. I have missed this so much. Okay, so I use these gigantic bowls. I'm going to cut this down a little bit more. 
So normally I put hemp seeds on top, but I think because I already have the almond butter in the seasoning, I'm not going to do that. Okay. And then we're going to just do a little bit of this, a little bit more. This is a really, really basic kale Caesar. You can get fancier, you can put other stuff on top. This right here really fits the bill for me. I'm super hungry right now because all I've had today is a smoothie much earlier. So I'm gonna eat this and then we're gonna do some prep. Okay, so I just had that kale Caesar and um, one of these, a cara cara. And I wanted to show you how beautiful they are. They kind of look like grapefruit. They're really, really sweet. They're so good. And they, you can peel them really easily. They're wonderful. Cara Cara. You know, oranges are known for vitamin C, but really a pepper or broccoli has more vitamin C. These guys are filled with calcium and they're supposed to be a mood elevator. Okay, so the other thing I wanted to show you before I put all my food away, I do this when I'm eating, you know, my regular food. I'm not on the stricter protocol. I always, always have potatoes in the fridge. And so this is something, I feel like I can't live without. Blender first, but then this, this Instant Pot, can't, I use it constantly. And this is, an, this is like an accessory. I'll link it below, this thing, because I, I have two of them, I rotate them, use them constantly. So this is yellow potatoes, sweet potatoes, and then, Let's see, I got one in there now. Um, and you and I just put this on a plate and keep it in the fridge after they're cooked. But oops, water. Just a little bit of water. I don't know if you all use these. If you have an instant pot, if you don't, you've got to get one because they're insanely awesome. Okay, so this goes in, and then I usually do like 13 to 15 minutes. So pressure cook, and then it, I let it release on its own, and then I take the, that basket out, I let it cool, and it goes in the fridge. And those potatoes will last me a few days. Then, whenever I want a potato, I usually cook them in that air fryer, or you can do the oven, or you can just heat them up and, you know, mash them, you can do anything with it. Um, but this is like a staple, and if they're always ready in your fridge, you're not gonna reach for something else. Like you're, the, that part of your meal is done. I mean, this doesn't take that long to make them fresh. If I wanted to have it tonight, or in an hour or something, that's fine. But it's really handy to have them ready. So I make the dressings, and I'm thinking, I was not specific enough for you. I need to figure out what my measurements are, and then do this again, so I can give you actual measurements. But, so for dressings, I make like a cashew sauce and then maybe a salad dressing. And then I transfer the dressing to a mason jar. Okay, I'll do a better job that way. Then I take these lids. I love these because they are, you know, you can just pour right from it. I'll link this below too. And then inside so this in my cashew sauce, and I, make, I guess I'll make a food prep video one day and show you all the stuff I did, but I just needed to do this today because I got my Imperfect Foods um, delivery. So there's some stuff I did right now. I like to make some hibiscus tea and I do the same thing. I keep it in a jar like this, with a lid like this. Um, hibiscus is good for inflammation too. And there's just a few staples that I always have, but the potatoes and the cashew sauce, that's number one apart from the vegetables. So that's it for today. I hope you have a lovely day and I'll see you soon. Happy healing.